seven days. I am over halfway done now. But today I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about things that I really like this time of year. Like things that I really like about Christmas and things I really like about winter. And I have like notes on my phone specifically because I knew that if I get up here in front of my camera and talk about something for like 15 minutes, I'm not going to talk about anything unless I have a list. I'm just kind of going to mix them up. So it may not just be like what I love about Christmas and then what I love about winter. They may be intermixed, which I'm totally okay with because I feel like this time of year encapsulates so many different things that there's lots of things that lots of people love around this time of year. It doesn't just mean the Christmas season. It's the holiday season or winter in general. I mean, we're not even in winter. It's still very late fall and there's snow on the ground. And I am not super happy about it because I don't like driving in snow, but hopefully this will be my last winter that I have to really deal with the snow that we get here in Indiana. Like I'm not gonna miss the snow. I may miss other things about Indiana, but the snow and the road conditions is not something I'm gonna miss. All right, so first up, so I don't sit here talking for 20 minutes about how much I don't like to drive in snow, I'm going to talk about the things that I like about winter. First, I love walking in fresh snow. Like, there's no other footprints in it. It hasn't been, like, muddied up by tire tracks or other people walking. Snow that's just fallen and is that quiet that you get after a snow, especially in the evening or at night. And it's just that crinkling sound every time you take another step. And I find that very, very calming. Just I feel like the ambiance of snow is after it falls, it gets very quiet. And so when you walk through it, all you hear is your footprints in the snow. And I think that is just like the best or one of my favorite sounds of the season. And one of my favorite things to do is just walk through snow, not drive in it but walk in it. I like to walk in snow. Speaking of snow, I love, like I said, that quiet that you get when snow falls. Like when there are the big snowflakes and they just are drifting down and it's just, it's like living in a snow globe. And I always have loved that. Is this that gentle snow with the big giant flakes that just falls so beautifully and then you have to drive in it and I feel like I'm circling back to driving a lot but or you have to shovel it but like I don't really like there's lots of downsides to snow I just think it's really pretty like that's just about it there's not much that I like about snow just the fact that it's actually just really really pretty I love Christmas tree lots like if you actually go and chop down a Christmas tree or if they have a bunch of Christmas trees already ready for you to pick and granted I have never had a live Christmas tree in my life I never have but I always like the kind of nostalgic feeling there's so much joy that comes out of those places I've never had a real Christmas tree I haven't I want to someday like have just like a little one because I don't think I could handle like a full-sized real Christmas tree just because I don't think I would have the time or like the remembrance to take care of it that's why I have artificial Christmas trees I love holiday lights like when people decorate their houses outside with all these Christmas lights or they decorate with like the little figurines or like the big inflatables. I mean, sometimes the inflatables can get really annoying, but I've seen some this year that I'm just like, man, those are so cute or that's so amazing. And I love them. Like Christmas week, we used to go out as a family and we would go and drive around and see other people's Christmas lights. So I feel like there's a very nostalgic feeling for that as well of seeing other people decorating for the holiday. And sometimes like you see neighbors who like try to outdo each other. And I always find that really, really fun to watch is when two neighbors are like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to put this up. And then the other neighbors like, I'm going to put this up. And then they're just like everything. It's like an explosion of Christmas lights. It looks like um, the Griswold's house from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That's always what I think of when I see all of the Christmas lights is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And I'm like looking at my phone every other time because I'm like, I have a list. I just don't remember what it was. Another thing that I love around this time of year is the kindness that people have, the charity that people have, and the donations people make. Like, I'm not saying Black Friday. I'm not saying shopping. I'm not saying like the consumer part of this season. I'm just saying that I feel like a lot of people are kinder this time of year. You know, kindness to their fellow person or their fellow people or people that they may just see on the street. I feel like you see more people smiling this time of year. And I don't know if that's because, you know, they play Christmas music in the shop 
up or if there's Christmas music on the radio or everybody's excited to go home and be with their families. But I feel like people are a lot kinder this time of year than they are at other times of the year. Except if you're shopping. That's, I mean, that's my thing. If you're, there's a lot of people shopping who are not very kind to each other. That is one of those things, like I don't go out on Black Friday until like Friday afternoon because I don't wanna have to deal with people being rude to each other to save $10. But like I was saying, the charity of the season. I mean, a lot of companies will give more philanthropic donations this time of year and people are more willing to give money or food or whatever they need to to these companies. Like I buy the St. Jude Bear every year, right there. I just actually got him recently. And I buy it every year because my sorority's philanthropy is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So I have And that's just one of those things for me. And I know a lot of people who donate to like the ASPCA this time of year or bags of food that they give to the food bank. And I feel like you see so much more charity this time of year than you do at other times of the year. And that brings me so much more faith in humanity as a whole when people are so willing to give to others who are less fortunate than they are. I am a sucker for holiday movies. Like I, I have a stack of them. I did a whole video on my favorite movies of the season. And then I'll start watching like Hallmark Channel and I'll get sucked in. And I feel like I've mentioned that like three or four times during the 12 Days of MJ, but I get sucked in and I get like interested in and I'm like, ah, it's the same movie, like 12 times every day. But yet I'm still sitting here watching it. And I'm not mad about that. I feel like you get the feel-good movies during this time of year that shows people being kind to others and people doing things for other people. And I feel like I'm, I'm thinking of like a Christmas story. And I'm really excited to see that movie, The Man Who Invented Christmas. Uh, I think that is on my definite list of movies to see this winter. I always love watching holiday movies or holiday TV shows because you get to see kind of the more ideal realistic things in life and the simpler things in life. Like I think about uh, like a Christmas story or National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which are my Christmas Eve movies. And they show that, you know, above all else, family is very important. And granted, sometimes we argue with the people we love, but this is the time of year for reconciliation. This is the time of year to gather with your family. And I feel like that takes me into my next point, which is family gatherings this time of year. My family in this area is very, very small. It's me, my mom, my dad, my godfather, and like my cousins, and that's it. The rest of my family is spread all over the country. So I've never really had one of those big family Christmases. And I grew up with lots of people saying, oh, you know, I have 30 people coming to my house this week for Christmas because, you know, it's all my aunts and my uncles and, and everybody else. And I have a very small family, so I've never gotten to experience like a big family Christmas. Hopefully one day I'll get to, but for now it's not in the cards. But I love watching commercials on TV about families getting together and families being together this time of year, not just because of the present, not because of anything else, but because they want to be together. And this time of year, family is so important. At the holidays, I feel like there's such a larger emphasis on being with your family and spending time with your family. Even if it's playing video games on your couch or watching football or, you know, going around and looking at Christmas lights or sitting around in your pajamas and playing board games. I feel like all of those things are so important and for some reason this time of year brings people together and I wish that that wouldn't just be at this time of year. I would love to just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to hang out with my family tonight. You know, we're going to watch whatever sports on TV. Or we're all going to watch a movie instead of all of us being in separate places at all, all, all times. But this time of year, I feel like, is a time for that to happen. For you to be with the people who you love because you may not get to see them very often. Or you may only get to see them at Christmas. I know plenty of people who only get to see certain family members at Christmas. You know, there's that, that song, I'll be home for Christmas. And I feel like that's such an important thing about this time of year is you want to be home with your family and your friends celebrating this season, whatever this season means to you and your family. You know, I feel like a lot of people take family for granted, but that's something that you should never take for granted. But there are lots of other things that I love about the season, but honestly, I really didn't write them down and I feel like I should have. And I feel like I should have ended on a much happier note, but I didn't. I wanted to talk about family and it's important. I know that a lot of people people have different traditions around the holiday or things that they love around the holiday. If you have something you love about the holidays, comment down below. I would love to know your opinion, but I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Tomorrow is the last day of week two, which I cannot believe. That means I will be two thirds of the way done with my videos, which is 
crazy, but you can like this video, you can comment down below, you can subscribe to my channel for the rest of my 12 Days of MJ and all the other videos that I make. The links to the last six days are in the description below so you can catch up on all of the videos from 12 Days of MJ. I'm having so much fun making these. I really am. Like I could never be like a daily video maker. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't just because of my life, but I love doing these at this time of year. Like I considered doing vlogmas like I said, but I, I don't go places. But I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. You can follow, oh I forgot, you can follow me on social media. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Twitter. On Instagram I post lots of pictures of my dogs. But other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great evening, a great afternoon, and a great tomorrow morning. Bye!